There we go, I fucked up. What's up, guys? You guys from right through here. Shows how much I've been doing this, right? Derp. Anyway, Survivor here. More Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So we've beaten Crash Bandicoot 1. It's Crash we just finished Bandicoot Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. And now, we head on now to... It's Crash Bandicoot 4! Which, as I said at the end of my uh, playthrough, when I or after I beat Cortex, a couple of videos and episodes ago, but this was my favorite game in the series. So I've I've been looking forward to this since I started this series. So let's not lose any time and get right into it. Now, in the last video that I put up with the ending, this this game kicks off right after that. After we destroyed the Cortex Vortex. Cortex is space station. It hurdles towards Earth and BOOM! Explosion. <laughs> Free at last. And a black shadow of death overcame the land. Uka Uka is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. Uka Uka. Good job. None have dared fail oh. the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice! Great so Uka Cortex Uka. was never the, uh, was the head honcho. Bandicoot. From deep inside my Ow! I sent you simple instructions that hurt my eyes a bit. But you lost the gems. You lost the crystals. And I have lost my patience. That beard on there is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed. Setbacks. That's a whole white way to put it. To set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right. Oh God. Oh, and this fucking guy. After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Also, on the left side of the screen behind Crash is a fucking a uh, Nathan Drake picture. Children, Shut to Uka uncharted. Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Also, that sad moment when fucking pieces of wood can make can get better and grow better facial hair than you. Like I would kill to have a beard like Uga Uka's. I'm gonna interact with Coco right away. We can actually play as Coco in this one. I mean, we couldn't in the other games, but I just didn't. Just to stick with the uh, story. Oh, yeah. Also, this is where you can go for feature tents. But in order to get everything on that one, we need all the. Uh, every ability. And on to Toad Village. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look. I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. The talking heads in the uh, weird ass wormhole thing. All right, anyway. So, this is the game that had quite a bit of changes. It's made mostly unchanged compared to Crash Bank 2. Because I just slide your body slam, your spin, and all that shit. But it did implement a couple of new changes. 
because this is the first one where Wampa Koopa took two bounces to, uh... Two bounces to break. There's a couple other things, like one that's coming up in just a minute here. Oh yeah, right here, this. The roulette box. Or basically, it'll switch between various different items, different boxes. But you can't, and if you don't break it soon enough, it turns into a solid block and you can't break it. And it, it doesn't count towards your uh, box count. It gets all solid. So if you're not fast enough, you can fucking... You, yeah, you can wait for a better item. A better box type to come up. Like you can get like a mask, invincibility. I'm not just going to mask. Yeah, but the, a life, question mark. Or fucking just a plain box or whatever. Ugh. So yeah. And also, we'll get to that later. I think this game had a lot more uh, different gameplay elements or whatever. Plus, this is really cool with the whole time travel aspect of it. I really enjoyed this. Despite beating Crash Bandicoot 2, fucking how I don't know how many fucking times. I also know this game I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna do what I did with Crash Bandicoot 2. I'm gonna get like a. I'm just gonna get a whatever percentage you name do, like the 100% ending. Do the 100% shit off screen, because that's gonna require getting the time trial relics. There you fucking bitch. King Arthur, you are not. Which I need, I just need to get everything. Sapphires will do several other things just to get the uh, get the hundred percent ending, but I'm not fucking waiting for all that shit until I'm not doing all the shit at once. I'm not gonna get hundred percent before I before I uh, fucking face the final boss. Yeah, there's crystal. And the, uh, the way they give, like, the tally or whatever, showing all the stuff that's in each level, that's, that was something in this game. It's, I really like it. It's pretty awesome. It's got the crystal, the gem, and then the relic, which were first introduced in this game. Back on the PS1 version, but they were put in the other games for the Insane Trilogy. As you know, on this level had more stuff. Extra fast to speed. Swim fast! Oh god, Jesus. I'm swim into a bomb. And you can spin. I don't, also don't understand how that, how those uh, electric panels don't fucking. You know, those don't, uh. Don't fucking electrocute all the water, let's all the water and just kill everything in these levels. Maybe all the enemies are fucking resistant to it. Everything in this level is resistant to electricity. I don't fucking know. Okay. Back down. And back down again. A lot of the purposes of these tunnels are you can only really go down and, and shit. And then we got the jet shooter. This little torpedo action. And you can use it to fucking blast away sea, which will contain some boxes. So if you're not careful with this fucking thing, you can actually miss out on some shit. It does have a fucking rank ass boost. It's a Wah! Oh god, I almost fucking killed myself right there. I almost really fucked myself. Also, torpedoes only travel so far before they explode. Wah! <laughs> oh, so you have to check. I just hit the checkpoint box. Couldn't do that in the original. Unreal Fresh Warped. So, like this panel all the way down. Down to the bottom here. 
fucking eels get out of here. Ow! Fuck. You piece of shit. I hate you. So at the time of recording this is uh, 7.40 on the 8th of November, so I don't think I'm going to be getting this all, getting all this shit uploaded before Spyro comes up, but I, like I said, I am going to wait until I've done everything for a look at this until we explore Spyro. Let's get the crystal. Oh, ah! Almost missed the box. Ah! Stuck. Boom! Alright. And there we go. That's under pressure done. Alright, already two levels done. I think I'll probably do maybe three or four levels an episode. I don't know. That's how much I... Coco for this next level. Orient Express. And these levels are fun. Where you run along the Great Wall of China. Hold run for top speed. Control suffer go. These levels are so fucking fun. It says circle, but you can also use square. The tiger is a lot harder to control on this game than it was on. On uh, the PS1. Shit! Oh, well, fuck it. I'm not gonna risk killing myself to because I've already missed boxes. Alright, I can just fucking get the gem for this all off screen. It's a very easy gem to get. I think it sucks these levels if you miss any boxes, you can't go back. Just bullshit. Oh, this level is a lot more fun to fight for the time trial anyway. Wah! Alright, there's a crystal. I don't wonder why I keep me anywhere. It's like, let's make sure that I'm hitting every box on the way. So it counts and shit. Let's keep my hands busy. Ah, shit! Well, there's the first death. Wah! I've already missed boxes, so fucking I don't give a shit. Up here. And wah! Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, 42 out of 51 yeah, our boxes. So we're not getting the box gem this run at least. Which again, I can just do that shit off screen and shit. Right, let's take the Coco. Just so you guys play Coco on some of the other levels. Boneyard! Is it even suggested to level? Uka, Uka and Cortex were oh, trying to get crystals and bring them to Big Coliseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for Tiny or Crash get crashed! Leave crystals for Tiny or a crash get crushed. How about you can fucking eat a dick, Tiny? How about that? More inventory, more outside the game. And you know when you're running towards the screen, it's always gonna be good times. Oh shit! Run! Oh god. So it's worse, especially because you can't see what the fuck is coming up towards you, so. That's the most fun part and the sticky part about it. You don't know where you have to jump over anything. So, oh god. You know, fucking Triceratops after me, Pterodactyls. This is fucking breaks any boxes you miss. Wah! Oh, I didn't even fucking plan that. And I still got it anyway. Yeah! Whatever. 
Let's move him over. Nailed it. Alright, we're doing so far so good. That's what I'd like to assume anyway. That's grassy, good fucking kill for no reason. And then just close. Oh, and of course, there's one of those that we need one of the color gems to fucking get everything. I'm always interested there's a special gem in this level. I need the red gem in order to get it. Okay, well, I changed that in this one. Because on the original, you can actually use the, the body slam or whatever to kill. To destroy the grass. But... Deal breaker. Anyway, another bonus. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Alright. Boink. Up here. Thing. There we go. Excellent. And also the music on screen as always is just top notch. Get here, you fucking I don't know what the fuck you even are. You big you bitch ass piece of shit though. Damn it. Well but some of those won't put the fuck. Does slow you down if you're not fucking. There's a slow that slows you down. Oh shit. Oh, what? Rip! Ah! Alright. Oh shit. Ah! Oh. Oh, damn it! Oh, I went back for the gym. Shit. I didn't even know that could happen. It's never happened before, honest. Oh, no. mm. Fucking Triceratops shit. I hate you. Fucking three-pointed. Piece of crap. There we go, nailed it. There we go. Did it on my first try. Not my first try in the slightest. I'm just being a shit. Yeah! Ooh. So the next time on the Shrinkin' Zane Trilogy, we're gonna head on to making waves and we are going to fucking do that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care.